And yeah, welcome back to the Arkham Megalo. Let's bring up the board. And uh, we just got done with a couple of hours of cross code. Got some uh, some neat things, including uh, the scavenger mask for Rune Seeker for Tunic, and another uh, golden feather for Claire. And that is what we're going to be working on first. Is um, Try to see if uh, we can get to the top of Hawk Peak and finish our first game. This is a thirteenth session. Be nice to actually finish a game. Uh, let us get some buttons pressed. Let us get started. Uh, is the sound coming through? Okay, excellent. Okay, so now... Mainly, I'm just going to focus on trying to get to the top of Hawk Peak. There are other checks that we can get. But right now, that's really all I'm concerned about, is seeing if I can finish this game. Just so we can say that we've finished one. We can buy a couple of uh, checks here. Our vessel. And five buck shells. I think I'm stuck. It's too high. What are the... Main calm. Or main clam. You mean clam? I am clam. Got this? I've got this! Okay. I definitely did not want to use two feathers right there. Let's see if we can make it to the top of this mountain. Got some money here that I've never found apparently.
Yeah, I just went around in circles. It's not good. See if I can make it back to that spring that I was just at. Okay. Oh wait, there's a path over here. Oh, that's just the same path, isn't it? But also now I'm up here with full feathers. I think I might have been able to finish this game earlier than I thought I could. Yeah? Yeah? Yeah! That didn't take as many feathers as many feathers as I, as I thought it would. Something's happening? Whoosh. You can do it. So yeah, all we gotta do now is go back home and take a nap. And that's this game done. I'm not going to use the release token like I said before. Uh, but I do have a release token now. Well, once I finish the game. a short hike. Oh, learned how to fish, despite the fact that I still don't have a fishing rod. I mean, right, the beach stick ball world champion. It's gotta be a next big thing. It's like volleyball with a stick. Anywho. Um, yeah, I'll tire it out. I go take a nap or something. Alrighty, it's nap time. Ta da! And yeah. Sure enough, Claire has completed their goal. Let's see, update state. Uh, I 
Actually, I'll wait until I get back to the um, to the status screen before I do that. Just so we can all see it happen. Thanks for playing. Thanks for making. This is a very pleasant game. Okay. Well, thank you for the bits, Zero. And let's press some buttons. Update state. A uh, short hike is finished. Do it. And there we go. It is a uh, nice golden color now. So now we can release a game, but there is nothing that I want to release, so we're going to keep moving. Uh, the next game. Also, I think I might have forgotten to change the category, come to think of it. Yeah, I forgot. Well, whatever. We're changing it now. Oh, that will skew the, the uh, time numbers, though, but well, whatever. I can fix it later. Uh, so we're going to play Tunic. Turn that off. Turn that on. Now I can get Ye Flask. Oh yeah, uh, turned out that I could have gotten that a while ago. Just, I was going about it the wrong way. I open the tracker. And I already have the, um, the universal tracker open. And... Okay. Another hero relic. A coin. Got a couple of ladders in that. Some gold questagons. Up to 23 so far. We need 30 for the um, for the the Holy Cross. 25. Another ladder. No, that's that's a coin. Twenty six money. Twenty seven. Twenty eight. Scavenger mask. I think that's everything. So we are two. Uh, two Questagons away from getting the Holy Cross and getting something that will actually guarantee me to get a sword. Let's see. So... Yeah, right now pretty much everything is is in the quarry. But uh, I am definitely going to put on the scavenger mask. So that I can get around the quarry without having to worry about it. Um 
still don't have the passage directly to the quarry, so I think... Oh wait, no, this is not the correct way at all. Um, town ruins. Can I open this? Nope. need to figure out what uh, what way I want to go. Oh, hang on. Um. Oh, jeez. I do need to remember I have the uh, shield. I think it was that ladder I passed by, actually. Yeah. It's too concentrated on running, is the thing. But from here, I should be able to... get up to yeah up here I'm looking here, everything except for one check is in logic. And that, that one check requires the Holy Cross. Again, I was trying to open that thing, and I don't really need to. Oh, 
Oh, you're actually gonna decide to be smart, huh? Like, part of the problem is, I don't really know where the checks are. Oh, well, that was a poor decision. There seems to be something over here. East obscured, beneath scaffolding, in the Miasma Mound. Oh, I see it. It's down there. Oh. There's a dude there. Okay. But you see the chest, right? Not really sure how to get there. Oh, wait. Oh, it was on this level. Oh, that's Fire Rod. That's pretty good. I don't know if it really helps, but uh, that's something. It's relevant. Obscure near winding staircase at the bottom. Right here. Mablung sword. Bombable wall flowers guide thee. Bombos, okay. Let's finally get this out of the way so that it doesn't bother me anymore. Central obscured behind st staircase at the bottom.
Oh, they saw me. They saw me, and I don't really have a good way of dealing with this. Now the gun check is also one that I need to get. Looks important. It's a waddle day. Yeah, that is important. This piece of heart. There is the problem resolving itself for the most part. Always love when that happens. Oof. Oh. No. Uh. Minor check, the garnet. Major check. Mushroom. Yeah, even if I do end up dying, at least I've made a lot of progress. Unfortunately, this door is still closed, but I do have access to the rooted ziggurat, so I think there's a lift somewhere around here that'll take me up to where the monolith is to uh, it was over on that side. There we go. We are not supposed to be over here. Well, moreover, it didn't seem to really give me anything. A camera. Deal with you, for one thing. Oh, there is the lift. I hate to have to respawn everything, but I'm almost dead. The fact that I'm still alive is remarkable.
The only hit point you need is the last one. Miss that. Still feel a little conflicted about activating monoliths, considering you know knowing what the monoliths come from. But we need to do it to advance, so. There we go. So that opens the path to the ziggurat. Let's just see if there's anything up here. Oh, it's just over here. Got it. Now I've antagonized all these fine folks, whatever will I do? I don't know why he just kind of threw a bomb like into the abyss like that. Also I forgot that the lift is here. Ah, you missed me. The Ziggy do. Move Ziggurat for great justice. Um, I am nervous about how much is green. Because <laughs> there is one check, uh, defeat those mechs, which is, uh, which is red. Let's not expect me to do some combat with, uh, without the sword. Scavenger Queen is yellow, which means it's not in logic, but it recognizes the fact that I could potentially um, beat that boss if I really put my mind to it. can't zip there either. Which means they're really... Oh, actually, hang on. Oh, I can't get this chest. Big rig mouth. I mean, yeah, I guess that would be required to beat the game. It is used exactly one time during the final boss.
I'm looking at the map and trying to come up with a game plan here. I think at least one of them might have uh, might have died there. Now I don't need to worry about it again. Um, I need to worry about that. Not expecting me to fight this this thing, is it? Not seeing any other way to do it. Well, that's not encouraging. That's my only bomb. Can't set you on fire. Not if I don't hit you. And the answer is no, I cannot set you on fire. Uh, I literally have no ammo left. Well, no ammo worth a damn. Okay, game, what are you expecting me to do? I think literally the only thing that I can do is, uh, buy some bombs. How much money do I have? 1626. I was like that it does seem to be in logic that I need to beat this thing. And literally the only thing that will do any damage is bombs. I think we have a conundrum. So what do I do now? Uh, Grim, basically?
back up, buddy. There you go. Cause that does damage, sure. But that does no damage. That does no damage. I don't have anything else that does damage. And the elevator out of here is gone. So the only thing that I can think of is... I can try to... build up bombs. I don't know what, like, what the criteria are for, uh... for getting, like, additional save point bombs. Other than just use bombs a lot. But eventually I will use the save point and I'll have two. Let's see how long that takes. Yeah, I don't know if it's enough to just use bombs or if I need to use them effectively. It's like they need to hit something, and that time they didn't. Still only getting one bomb back. Like, I, I don't know if I have to like specifically buy bombs in order to build up bombs this way. Quitting and reloading the game should get me out of the quarry. Well, let's try. Nope.
There's something that Arborelia did. That brought her back to like... Okay, what do you mean by patched game? And the game is up to date. The the randomizer is not at the latest version because I'm just worried about um, compatibility. Although I don't think. Uh, let's see. Somewhere down there is a wooden platform. How far down? Like, where down? I was like, the, the base game is the latest version, yes. Yeah, there, there's something that I saw Arborelia do that brought her back to in front of the sealed temple at the beginning of the game. I don't know if that's another mod, is the thing. Also, like, if that wooden platform... Like, the, the only way that I know to get back is the far shore. As far as I know, there's no other way out of the ziggurat. I see a pillar with what looks like scaffolding beside it on the side facing down left. The wooden platform on the bottom. Is there like a picture of what I'm looking for? They're talking about the wrong place. What was that the the lift in the um, in the quarry is what I'm thinking they were talking about.
Sorry, I'm, I'm trying to... I realize I'm not saying anything. I'm trying to see, like, is there a mod that, uh, that exists that will bring me back to, like... What's... Not even for the right game. There's like barely any... Now there's a... Uh, you can use the torch to return to the overworld save point at any time, but that's for entrance rando. I'm not using entrance rando. That's what I was, that's what I was thinking of. There was some way to actually like go back. But I don't have the item that they're talking about. Yeah, I know that the elevator is one way. I, well, I know now anyway. Yeah, and the, and the way out is after, yeah, it's after the mini boss fight. It's, like I said, it's the far shore. You gotta get to just before the boss of the area, and uh, there's a monolith. You activate it, and it opens a door that leads to a uh, a pad that takes it to the far shore, and then you can get out. But like, there's gotta be some way out of this. Like, I don't know if there's a the, the question we should be asking right now is, is there another way to beat this fucking thing? Uh, 
I mean, there's gotta be. If this is doable with, like, this is, all of this is in logic. Like, the entire root ziggurat except for two checks are green, which means there's gotta be a way to either kill or bypass this thing. Ah, <sighs> okay. Basically, I had to say it out loud and low and down. So I'm sorry for wasting everyone's time. Let's just continue. Yeah, I, I said there's got to be a way to uh, either kill or bypass, and yeah, there was a way to bypass it. I just had to use the, the laurels in the correct place. I was failing to do that up until now. Uh, well, these were making progress. Now this creepy ass cutscene. Uh, that was a big thing, was uh, you're not supposed to have laurels here. So that uh, kind of allows me to uh, get through when there shouldn't be a way to get through. Progressive bomb ability. Alright. HP. Ah! Got me. Uh, yeah, I did, did, did. Oh boy, everything hurts way more when I'm tired. Yeah, I saw that coming. That's okay. We're making progress. I got some checks. Just tag the thing. Just despawn everything.
Okay, so that is all of the checks uh, in the ziggurat that I can currently get. Other than, of course, the, um, the scavenger queen, which is technically beatable, but I'm not going to try. And there we go. Out to the far shore, we're out of here. So now I'm going to go to a shop and buy a bunch of bombs. Um, no, this is the West Garden. I always confuse the West Garden and the Town Ruins. Back to this happy little tree place. With the super happy trees and the super happy flowers. Let's buy a bunch of bombs. We have 12 now. And three of the incendiaries and three of the freezing bombs. Um. We need waddledies. We never are going to need that opal. And that's 300 for 40. Okay. Uh, let me switch the uh, Universal Tracker to slot 11. Oh? We have enough Waddle Dees! So next week we're going to be starting with Kirby. Because there's a couple of things in Kirby that I really need. For now, there's still a bunch of checks in the quarry. I'm going to try to get as many of them as I can. Just so we don't have to worry about it. It's off my mind. I can remember where it is that I want to go. Actually, no, this will take us to the quarry.
in the lowlands near elevator end of the tracks. Not really near the elevator anymore. Oh, over here. Okay, well, it's a green chest anyway, but uh, let's get it off the list, old bones. Here below entry walkway down the stairs. There, that I was gonna get uh, hit by the big swords. Problem is, they are trying to be smart about how they throw the bombs so that they don't actually hit each other most of the time. I can throw bombs too. Defense. That is four out of six. Obscured behind staircase at the bottom. There it is. The starfruit. And watching someone play um, Stardew Valley, and oh boy, like his uh, his um, strategy for like a lot of money, starfruit wine, just lots and lots of starfruit wine. an unreasonable, unfathomable amount of starfruit wine. I 
think I'm close to this one. Upper area bombable wall. There's a bombable wall nearby. Is it here? Sure is. Well, that's another uh, another coin. That is enough for the well. There is one check left. That is not hidden behind the um. Okay. Uh, I might want to avoid dying if possible, but I don't know where that's going to pop me out. Okay. We are no longer almost dead. So now I'm going to get myself out of here. We're going to find a well. This is not the correct path. Whoa. That was weird, what just happened. There we go, this is the correct way out. So now we just get out of here. Hopefully never think about the quarry again. And all we gotta do is find a wishing well, dump these coins in, and call it good, I think. Is this a complete path? have to think not. Well, I can go over here. Does that mean anything? Yeah, it's a bit silly. Ah, uh, there we go. It's a bit silly that I can't just like lift this ladder and put it back up because like there's another spot where there is a ladder on the floor and you lift it and put it back up and there you go. Okay. 
I wish, I wish, I had a fish. Yeah, the one. Alright. Which one is slot 8? Well, go find out. Oh, last along, okay. Yeah, I think I know what that is. It's not really anything particularly of note. Now let's go find the save point. There is one more check that I can get in the fortress arena. Um, I don't know that it's particularly worth trying. I'm gonna hint it. Three high sandwich. Don't need to worry about it. This game is in BK mode. Oh, look at where we're ending, actually. Because we are ending for today. I've, I, th There's been a lot of puzzling. But we're ending at 1337. How neat of us. Uh, so first thing, update state. Uh, tunic is in BK. So let's do one more pass of um, So Meridus is currently in, in progression mode. Um, I can go fight a boss and see what Meridian has. Uh, the Universal Tracker doesn't work on Link to the Past because of how my ammo is. Uh, Time Spinner is still in BK. Tunic is in BK now. Short Hike is done, but not released. Cross Code still has a Decent amount of checks. Yeah, there is five, um, ten, fifteen, twenty. There was twenty checks left. I'm gonna leave it a green. Uh, slot 8 Astalon is still where it is. There are still only a couple of checks available. Uh, slot 9, uh, there are two more checks available from the uh, plasma beam, but uh, nothing else has emerged. Slot 10, there's still that one check that I don't know how to get, which is apparently in logic. And I will probably never find out how to get it. Uh, slot 11 is Kirby, and we now have access to the next boss, which means we have access to probably all of the stages in the final world. Oh, Waddle Deliveries is, is the thing with the codes. But there's a bunch of gift codes that, um, that have been available throughout the, uh, the span, the, the lifespan of the game. And I suppose if I just present any one of those codes, that will qualify as that check. And I get to decide, so that's going to be how it is. And uh, Final Fantasy XIV still doesn't have a whole lot. Um, there is one. Uh, there is one Guildhest. There are a few dungeons. Um, 
The Naval Normal is a... I believe that's a four-man trial, so that would probably be in logic. But mostly it's Upper Lanasea, which uh, I've opened up and has five baits in it. The moment that I can get um, five more levels of Reaper, or get another class high enough to actually catch up somehow, uh, I'm going to have access to... Um, the Shadowbringer zones. And then I'll be at a much better time to uh, go looking for stuff there. By the way, I should have probably hit this button here so it stops counting uh, time for Tunic. Uh, I'll have to go back and adjust sometimes so that the time for um, a short hike is closer to correct because I forgot to hit the button to uh, properly switch the game. And I can probably take like five minutes off of uh, of Tunic as well because I'm not actually playing right now. Uh, if, I, if we can get two more gold questagons, that is going to allow uh, Rune Seeker to get himself a sword, or get themselves a sword. That will hopefully open up some more options, but uh, yeah. So, I am. Um, we still have 20 minutes in the time that we have left, but like. Also, we're, we, we are currently at 1337 checks. I can't not take that as a sign. We need to stop here. But we're going to be stopping a little early, and that's okay. Um, let me see if... Uh, now Arborelia looks like she's done. Out of, uh, out of Rated Her... She's doing her pinball series currently, but uh, she has done for today, so I don't have anywhere to send you, so that's okay. So, thank y'all for hanging out. Uh, thank you to Zero, Grim, J Pop, and Tyrion for hanging out in chat tonight, and anyone else who might be uh, lurking in the shadows. I appreciate you. The next scheduled stream is going to be on uh, Sunday at 8 p.m. or later, Atlantic Daylight Time. It is, of course, the Sunday Super Shuffle. What will I be playing? Who knows? We'll find out together, hopefully. And uh, that takes us around the week around wheel to our next Archimegalo stream. Next Tuesday at 9 p.m. Atlantic Daylight Time. I feel like we're getting really close to something good. It is just beyond the horizon, and um, next time we are definitely going to be starting with Kirby, because there's there's good things there. I know there are, because I've hinted for one that's back there, but there's still plenty of other checks as well, so we'll find out what lies beyond. That'll do it. Thank y'all for watching. I'm Coolio if you don't know, and I'll see you guys next time. <laughs>